welcome back to my channel. I am 38 weeks pregnant. Like, oh my gosh. For one, I'm the worst at updates. Um, so much for like weekly updates. And so, so much has happened in the past three weeks. I need to get better at this. I mean, we only have a few weeks left, so we'll see. The next time I, uh, record might be when I'm actually having the baby. So we'll try, I'm gonna try and go through some of these updates quick, like the less important ones. Well, important to me, because first off, I don't know if this picture maybe looks any better because I got a brand new camera for my birthday. No more recording on the cell phone. I have an actual camera to make actual quality videos. Uh, I'm sure it's gonna look so, so much better. Thing two, you notice this background behind me. We finally, finally, finally finished painting the nursery. Now, there's nothing really in it right now. I still wanna like clean the floors and stuff before I move everything in, but at least we have it painted. We obviously, as you can tell, we kind of took on a bit of a uh, project with painting it. We didn't just go basic and it took so long, but I think it's worth it. I really, really like the way that it turned. Oops. I really, really like the way that it turned out. Um, so, work's going good. I have the person that's gonna be replacing me trained, uh, you know, as far as us kind of physically getting ready, like having stuff where it needs to be, it's still kind of shoddy. I'm hoping that the next couple of weeks, that one, she doesn't come too early, and two, we can kind of get that stuff pulled together. But, like, if she were to come today, honestly, we'd be okay. I feel like sometimes, you know, people do all this preparing, mainly probably just because they're excited, but stuff that doesn't necessarily have to be done. We don't have a crib. We actually don't have a bassinet yet, but we do have a pack and play. We have like a little um, rocker thing that she can lay in. I mean, now we should have a bassinet or a co-sleeper is actually what we're using. I learned that there's a difference. Um, we should have it by the time she gets here, but again, if she were to come today, it would, you know, we'd make it, it's fine. She's just a baby, she doesn't know what's going on. <laughs> as far as like mentally, I still haven't like wrapped my mind around the fact that this is a real human baby coming into our lives. And again, I just don't think that I will until she's here. And I guess I had a little bit of guilty feeling around that for a while. Um, Cause some people they're just like, so instantly so motherly and so I don't know how to explain it I I just felt like maybe there was something wrong with me but my doula actually said she was the exact same way she was like it was not until they put that baby on my chest and then it was like kind of all made sense and so I'm hoping for that same experience um, and it was good to hear that someone else had the same sort of feelings with their first I've been getting over cold I got a cold last week and um, you know, it wasn't too bad. I've I'm, it was about a week long and now I'm kind of getting over it, so. Sorry if I'm a little bit nasally. Um, anyways, that's all kind of whatever, life stuff going on. Baby stuff going on has been a little bit more, I don't wanna say scary, but it's it's been a little bit scary. I had left off at 35 weeks where I was measuring, or am I at my 34 week appointment, I was still measuring 30 weeks. We go in at 36 weeks and this is the problem with not updating frequently frequently enough is that I start to forget crap. So we went in to our 36 week appointment um, and they measured my stomach, like the fundal height was still at 30 weeks. Um, this was at, you know, 36 weeks. I was falling pretty far behind. So they went, she went ahead and got us another growth ultrasound. Um, Bobby had dropped from the 20th percentile to grow, for growth down to the 16th percentile for growth. Still within the normal range. Heartbeat looked good, lungs looked good, fluid looked good. I still felt, was feeling her kick regularly. Everything else was good except her size. Um, and it still wasn't even bad. It was just, you know, on the lower end, they said it's below 10% is when you, you know, there might be an issue. So anyways, um, they sent us home, everything was fine, going at 37 weeks, 
and I was measuring 32 weeks. So, you know, still behind, but at least I was growing. My midwife seemed really happy about everything. You know, the fact that I was growing and progressing, you know, made everything look good. Harpy was good. So we went back this last week at 38 weeks and I measured 32 weeks again. And I just feel like you could kind of tell the tone changed a little bit. And I think it's just because at this point we're so close. There's no more like, oh, she has a few weeks to grow or whatever. So it was just, it was a little bit of a different experience this time. And now my midwife is great. She is still really calm and like, you know, she doesn't ever like try to scare you, but she just wants you to know what, how the situation is. And so she basically was like, I'm just going to go consult the, like the OB and see kind of what they think we should do because I don't necessarily feel comfortable just saying like, oh, you're small, everything's fine. Even though the heartbeat was fine, even though I still was feeling her kick just fine. Um, you know, they're just worried that she could possibly be growth restricted. So, and I asked the midwife too, because I was a little confused about, um, well, if she's not growing, wouldn't it be better for her to like, isn't it good for her to hang out in there? And, um, she was like, well, sometimes they grow better on the outside than they do on the inside, which makes sense. And that's the thing I love about my midwife too, is she always explains things to me in a way that makes sense instantly. And I don't never feel like I leave unknown about her decisions or anything. So, right. She came back from the um, OB and said that at the next appointment, which is coming up this Friday, they'll go ahead and do another growth ultrasound. If her growth is too small, I think she said if it's below 12th percentile, they'll send me for a Doppler scan, which is where they actually watch the blood flow and everything and make sure that's okay. And that the people that do the Doppler scan will actually kind of further make the recommendation whether they think it's safer to be induced and go ahead and have the baby early or if everything just looks good and we can keep going with the pregnancy as normal. Um, you know, she told me that and scared me. I, like, I don't want to be induced. I don't want anything to be wrong with her. Um, but obviously, obviously I'm going to do what's best for the baby. And all that being said, though, my doula, who just came over this last week and we kind of met and I let her know all this stuff, she made me feel better about the whole situation because, for one, she told me that there's actually some different methods of induction and I didn't talk to my midwife about what those are. And also, even if it comes down to Pitocin, which is like the big thing that scares me, um, she's like, it's not like, not necessarily as scary as you think it might be. They start you on a super low dose and then they increase it this as needed. And you know, there's a possibility that they could start you on a low dose, your body kind of kicks in and takes over and then they take you back off of it. Um, so it's not just like, they give you this drug and you have contractions like that and they're super intense and you're just dying and that's how it is, which is kind of what I had in my mind. Um, so again, it's just one of those things, you just kind of have to roll with it, see what happens. Sucks, today's Sunday and I have to wait all the way till Friday to get this ultrasound and find out more information. But um, I just am trying not to worry too much about it. In fact, I looked up, I was like, how to help baby grow? And it was like, well, don't smoke, don't drink, don't do drugs. I don't do those things. So it, you know, it wasn't really helpful. Um, but well, let me show you. Let's see if you think that my, my belly's really <coughs> grown any. This is what she looks like in the shirt. Ugh. Still feeling like, oh, come on, focus, yo. There it goes, okay. So that's, oh my gosh, and my stretch marks are so dark. <laughs> that's what that belly looks like. I don't know. I think it might've grown some this week. Oh, I really wanna go in on Friday and her be like, yeah, you're at like 34 weeks or something like that. Um, but yeah, still been feeling feeling all super pregnant um now i'm just distracted looking at my stomach trying to see if it grew at all i think it looks bigger i actually really do think it looks a little bit bigger <laughs> i hope so at least i mean 
I thought it looked bigger before at one of the appointments and it didn't grow, but just not as mobile as I was before. And Chris helped me, has helped me out of the chair. It's hard to move in the bed and I've been trying to do some like cleaning stuff and it just, is, it's harder, obviously. There's a huge stomach in the way. So I am gonna take this camera to my next appointment, do a really good update. Um, and yeah, I have to let you know. By the way, we're at like less than two weeks to the due date. It doesn't seem real. I I swear this pregnancy has like flown by. I mean, when I go back to think about when I found out I was pregnant, it seems like a long time ago, but at least the third trimester has been like two weeks. I'm pretty sure it's been about two weeks. <laughs> um, all right, thank you so much for watching. Uh, give this video a thumbs up and go ahead and subscribe if you wanna see what happens. Um, and definitely put out some good belly growing vibes into the universe for me. Uh, all right, bye.